Director General of WTO, Secretary General of PIFS, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Bulo Binaka, and a very good morning to all of you. Especially a very warm welcome to the Director General of the World Trade Organization, Fiji. I note that this is DG's uh, first visit to the Pacific, and particularly to Fiji. And on behalf of the Fijian government, I welcome you to Fiji, and I hope you enjoy your time in Fiji and the Fijian hospitality that Fiji is renowned for. At the outset, <clears throat> um, this forum, organized by the Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat, is timely. It is important to put into perspective the way forward for multilateral trade negotiations and where the Pacific fits into the equation. Director General, ladies and gentlemen, in Fiji's view, the maintenance of the integrity and credibility of the WTO is a key component in the mix of global policy approaches needed to ensure sustained global economic growth. Fiji and the Pacific Island countries, as small island economies, have unique needs and are at most risk of being left behind by the multilateral trading system. Therefore, it is equally important that such economies like that of Fiji and other Pacific Island countries are most in need of protection and in need of a strong, effective, and fun functioning multilateral trading system. This is particularly so in the view of the pr uh, proliferation of regional trade agreements, which exclude us, and wherein the bounds of WTO rules are often exceeded beyond our capacity. Simply shutting the region out and making it impossible for the region to integrate into the global trading arena. Ladies and gentlemen, in spite of Fiji's limited human and capital resources, we place great importance on the need to actively participate in the WTO forums. The setting up of the Fiji mission in Geneva in 2014 is a testimony of our determination. We are working hard to ensure that the small voice of the Pacific is heard, both in WTO negotiations and its regular work. Fiji remains fully committed to the DDA and is disappointed at the inability of the WTO membership arriving at concrete developmental outcomes for the DDA since 2001. The continued failure to conclude the Doha round risks undermining the WTO's credibility and its ability to perform effectively. Director General and ladies and gentlemen, this is of particular concern to Fiji and the Pacific parties as we rely on the protection offered by the rules of the multilateral trading system, even though some of the rules are burdensome and should be improved to make the multilateral trading system fair and inclusive for all members. It is of great concern that major economies, spurred by the sentiments emanating from the U.S. leadership, are threatening the entire basis for the multilateral system and free and fair global trade. The global economy and especially small island developing states of the Pacific cannot afford the emergence of protectionism and tit-for-tat trade wars. This is where the WTO needs to be strong to ensure the observance and the integrity of global trade rules. Capacity constraints and power differentials that the Pacific faces in WTO negotiations, Fiji believes that the WTO can provide a level playing field in decision making for trade rules. But this can be achieved only if the WTO is willing to understand and address the concerns of small and vulnerable members. Ladies and gentlemen, we note with grave concern also at the lack of outcomes from the last ministerial conferences especially on the issues that are of importance to the Pacific region, namely fisheries. For us in the Pacific, fisheries is an integral part of our culture and the way of life, and is also a key resource and the source of livelihood for many. Therefore, 
it is important to ensure that the fisheries resources are well managed and in a sustainable manner so that the activities of the present generation do not compromise the needs of the future generations. Fiji will continue to work in collaboration with other members to seek a meaningful outcome at the 12th Ministerial Conference, a long impending decision on fishery subsidies, which is in line with the global commitments made in the 2030 Agenda for Development, is the least that should be achieved. We could do our own future a disservice if we do not seek a solid outcome on this. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not trade for the sake of trade itself. Indeed, the very first paragraph of, in the preamble of the Marrakesh Agreement acknowledges that trade and economic relations should be conducted with a view to raising standards of living and that positive efforts must be designed to ensure that developing countries secure a share of the growth in international trade commensurate with the needs of their economic development. We must work with these objectives in mind, not just for those who already have the trading might to matter in the world, but for those who have diminishing aspirations at remaining relevant. Fiji remains committed to maintaining an open economy and continues to value the importance of maintaining rules-based multilateral trading systems. However, the small economies of the Pacific, with geographical and logistical challenges of being located far from the major markets and trading routes, facing supply-side infrastructure and productivity constraints, and highly susceptible to natural disasters and climate change challenges, the region is at risk of further being marginalized if the multilateral trading system does not take into account such realities. Ladies and gentlemen, impediments to a development-oriented outcome at the 12th Ministerial Conference, albeit limited, is not unachievable. I am sure if we members apply the political will and the goodwill to our commitments towards the multilateral trading system, it will be successful and will result in beneficial outcomes to all. The region, more than ever, needs strong leadership from the WTO if DDA ambitions are to be achieved. The Pacific region has six WTO members and may have more in the future. Emphasis should be given both by the Secretariat and the membership of the WTO of the concerns and the challenges of the region, including the greatest impending challenge, climate change, and its impact on the region's ability to trade. The region should not be contacted only when there is an election of DG coming. We have more to contribute than just making numbers in the WTO. A strong Pacific trading bloc equals a strong multilateral trading system and a strong WTO. I once again would like to welcome the DG to the region, and I hope you have a successful and a fruitful workshop. Thank you very much.